my name is uh, David Derksen. I'm a Dutch designer. I normally work in, uh, in Rotterdam. And for this week, uh, I present uh, in, uh, in Eindhoven. And uh, for the first time, I show uh, all my work, basically. And what I always like uh, is to go to a studio of someone else, of a friend, uh, a friend designer, and to, um, to see what he is doing and to see the process and to uh, get, a, get a feeling of how uh, projects uh, start, actually. So that's what I'm trying to do here, is to uh, show not only the final products, uh, but to show the process, actually. And, uh, I hope people get inspired by that, actually. Um, I had like sort of a childhood memory and I remembered um, that I, I saw a, a rotating disc and you could pour paint on it and then it's, it was making like beautiful patterns because of the of, of the movement and then I was like okay how could I use such uh, a movement to make a pattern for me actually and then I started to think uh, also about the pendulum and about the pendulum of Foucault for example and uh, how you can also make beautiful patterns with that so then I started to do research first in paint uh, and then later when I discovered it was such a nice uh, pattern uh, then uh, we developed it to, to make it uh, with glazing, actually. So. so this project also started with a personal fascination. That's how I always start. Uh, it's, it's like a fascination and then later I think what I want to design with it. But it starts with the personal fascination. And in this case it was the Moiré effect. And the most simple effect that you can make is uh, when you have two line patterns and when they overlap and when they start to rotate, you start to make new patterns actually. So from the existing line patterns, uh, new patterns start. So this was the starting point for me for, uh, for a new project. Uh, we made a lot of tests with it, a lot of different patterns. Um, uh, we worked with some colors, even different materials. And uh, in the end I was like, okay, it's, it's really nice, these experiments, but what are we going to do with it? What is it going to be? And um, we made like a, a small uh, test, a small sample. And I just had it lying on my desk and it looked already a bit like this, actually, the, the brooch that I'm uh, wearing. And I was like, well, it's so nice to play with it that it should be something that you wear and uh, that you can also play with, actually. So then I uh, designed a collection of, of uh, four pendants and one brooch, actually. So, and this is, this is one. Here I exhibit now on two fairs, one is in Milan, which is in April, and the other one is in Eindhoven, uh, like where we uh, are here today. Um, in the beginning I also did other fairs, uh, like in London uh, or like in Cologne, but I decide now to focus on the two main fairs. Milan, uh, that's really like the center point for design every year, that's where all the people come together. But it's also very um, commercialized in a way. And the reason that I still present at Dutch Design Week is that it's, it's more open, it's more free, there's uh, more room for experiment. Um, and and that's, that's also what I like to show, is to show the process behind and to show more uh, the experiment. And that's also what I see when I walk around myself. So I see a lot of experimental uh, stuff that is maybe not directly for sale, but that can lead to, to new things. And um, that's, it's sort of an underdog position here at this fair that makes it possible to, to do experiments, actually. 